Any other uh, public comments? Um, I want to take the uh, time to just address something that I've been wanting to address with you guys for a long time, and I, and I hope you appreciate the sentiment that this is, is giving in, because it's really trying to, to do something for your own benefit and for the benefit of the staff. Um, over the years, the, the CSDs developed this terrible habit, sorry, public that's cheap. Uh, developed this terrible habit in the way it's run meetings. Um, I think it's a lack of understanding of what board meetings are and how they should be run. And I saw this degrade myself over the years that I was uh, a director. And just so you know, I mean, these meetings stand in stark contrast to other board meetings, the way that board meetings are run uh, in other agencies around. And I didn't realize the extent of that until I started spending part time managing some districts myself and saw how efficient they were, how, uh, you know, basically, you know, what the spirit of the meeting and the, and the, and the, uh, the way the, the meeting actually should, uh, should be run. So um, just important uh, points to understand. I'll try to go through this quickly, but I'll probably send it to you. Um, board meetings are meetings of the board. I mean, you literally could sit in a circle uh, and because you are meeting with each other and you are meeting with the staff, and the public is observing. There are specific points where they partake, but these are not meetings of the community in the sense that everybody is participating and everyone is, is sort of has an equal uh, say. You are elected officials, and you speak with the voice of your uh, authority of your seat. That is different than a person making a comment who speaks for themselves and does not speak for the community because they will not elect it. Um, and I think you know what happens is that this doesn't respect the democracy that, that we have. The observers are not the elected uh, you know officials officials that you are. Um, board meetings are also policy meetings. They're not operations meetings. Operations are done by staff. Uh, they should match the policy directions that you set in the meetings. Um, but let the staff do their jobs. And if they're not doing their jobs, the time to the appropriate form for that is an employee evaluation that you do, uh, you know, once a year or occasionally, whatever you whatever you set. But this is not the occasion to do operations. This is the occasion to talk about policy in front of, of, of the public. Um, and if you want details on the operations, don't do them here. Do them. A, you are perfectly empowered uh, to be able to talk to the staff directly and ask, uh, you know, questions directly on on details. What it does is it unburdens these meetings from those particular uh, things and allows you to focus uh, on policy. Um, so basically, not following these premises means that the meetings are too long. Everybody gets, it's an unfair burden to all of you, the board and your volunteer positions. Uh, it's terrible for the staff. It's bad for morale and the long-term health of the CSD. Um, and it's just, it's not a way that uh, business gets done. It's not effective. And it's unfair to the public to have poorly run uh, board meetings. Um, I think the problem is uh, at best that the Brown Act is being misinterpreted. Uh, more typically here, it's being abused. Um, and I'll tell you right from the uh, guide um, to the Brown Act, the Brown Act should not be an excuse for hiding the ball, which is, there's plenty of openness here, nor a mechanism for hindering efficient and orderly meetings. It calls for uh, efficiency in government, yet should allow government to function responsibly and productively. It should not stifle government officials and impede the effective and natural operations of government. Um, so there's two occasions for the public to comment. It's open time and it's board actions. That's it. Uh, it, is, it is, you all need to keep this in mind. The president, at the t uh, whoever's president at the time, needs to run the, uh, needs to police that. The consent calendars, look at any, the way any other consent calendars are, are, are run in the county. Uh, the point is, it's not a discussion point. If there's discussion or questions or anything with an, an item on the consent calendar, it needs to be pulled off, made a separate item. Otherwise, consent calendar, you call the agenda item and you go for the vote. You don't take questions, you don't do the, the tradition that's, that's developed here for some bizarre reason of, you know, you're asking detailed questions uh, or, or allowing, you know, public questions on those items. That, those, those become then discussion points, which is against the whole reason for the consent calendar, if you, if you look up what the basis of the consent calendars are. Managers reports, chief reports, PNR reports, they are operations reports. They're not times for discussions. They are basically information that's being passed to you, uh, and, and if there's a comment from the board, that's fine. But they do not, and they should not, have uh, extensive periods of, of, of discussion that's opened up to the public. Uh, if, if there are public questions, the public can approach the staff and, and filter that through the manager during the normal uh, business hours and allow them to do their job the way it's, uh, it should be normally done. And then finally, you know, don't be bullied and intimidated by 
unelected officials, who individuals who claim that they're speaking for the public. I'm so tired of, of, of hearing that in these meetings. I speak for the community, I speak for the public. You speak for the public, and you speak to the community because you were, you were the elected. Everyone here has the right to you know, observe that and comment at the appropriate times and to say the wacky things that they, that they want to during open time. I'm all for that. I apologize for interrupting. Can I interrupt that was now? Like he I, I just said, I apologize for, for interrupting, but, but, but that is the appropriate time. And these meetings need to get back on track, and the CSD needs to get the business of the public back on track. Um, and if you attend another board meeting anywhere else, you'll see how a relief it is to see how a healthy, healthy board meeting is Three running. minutes are up. So the current Time practices are out of up. step, and they should be normalized. And that's a point of order that you out should, if, if you want to call it, you need to be fair to everyone in the, the community. The president of the board in the rules allow for an extension of the time. To do her job. I'm saying that the, I'm Let saying as a point of order job. that the president okay. has the authority to okay. be able to extend and allow it to, to be okay. wrapped up. So can you finish up and can you, everyone else please not interrupt? Okay, I see your hand. Thank, Thank you. you. That is the proper way that the meeting should be run. Thanks, thanks for that. I had wanted to just do this in a way to basically empower you. But, uh, um, you know, I, 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 it's something that you can do starting now, and I hope you do. Thank you. Uh, I can't hear you. John? Yeah, I didn't come here to get in an argument or not, but he addressed me, so I feel I need to address it back. First, Bill, I said I was speaking wait, for... Wait, 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 no, we're not getting personal. Okay, this is first this person... On open time for items, not on the agenda, okay? You can take it outside. Well, I got to respond. You can't let me respond since he called me wacky. He called us wacky. Look, All I'm no, saying, we're not, we're not gonna go and you time. give him we're four minutes, they went over there, and you won't let's, let me. Let's okay, I respect what you're doing, but okay. I disagree. I have, I have something to say. First of all, so Bill. Didn't you already talk? No, I didn't, actually. So, first of all, Bill is an architect. He's, and he's a part-time uh, city manager. He is not a lawyer. I'm not a city manager. And, wait, wait, again, uh, so whatever he does. So no, no, no. Hang on for a second. I'm, I'm, uh, the, the issue is this is a legal entity, and you need to follow the law. We're going to hold you to the law, and we're also going to uh, hold you to the, uh, the rules that are established for meetings. And I'm afraid what... Uh, Bill, in his well-meaning thing, really misinterpreted the Brown Act. You need to go back to the original documents. That's all I'm going to say about that. So, but I am going to say, really what I wanted to say during my, my time is, this is, everyone here is constrained by law, by law and by our democratic customs. Um, I do agree that uh, our meetings could be run better, uh, but I also think that uh, attempts to squelch uh, public participation is wrong. And in fact, if you visit the Brown Act, you'll see why it's wrong. Um, there, the the I think the League of Cities. We have lots of documentation that you can refer to, but please. Really what everybody in this room is trying to accomplish is a better community. And that's where we should be focused, not on attacking to one another or second guessing motivations. Let's do the right thing for the community. Let's listen to one another. Let's resolve like adults. Thank you. Thank you. All right, anything else?